I know a lot of you are saying, hey Jeff, this is the second video in one week. Well, it's true. I messed up. I gotta be honest, I messed up. I was on the phone with Matt Howe with Gone Digging. We were talking as I was uploading this video. I realized what time it was. You know, I thought, man, I gotta get out of here. And instead of hitting save changes, I hit publish, apparently. Uh, didn't know it for probably, I talked to Matt for about an hour. So um, by the time it got to that point, it was too late to unpublish it. And so I just let it run. But that made me scramble to put together another one for this Thursday's episode, which is what you're seeing now. Uh, this video is some older footage, not super old, back from the fall. Uh, so you'll see in the second part of it, it was actually two hunts. On the second part of it, we're dressed a little bit uh, warmer because the temperatures were cooler. But anyway, some great finds. Had a good time with Mike, and I hope you enjoy it. Ladies and gentlemen, that's what I deal with on a semi-daily basis. Got my new knee pad. We've got new knee pads. Um, my new... I've been using one anyway. AWP. I've been using this one. Yeah. See, this but it's just bigger. a little bit shorter, yeah. And so I'm 6'6", six, six, and so my width of my knees when I sit down sometimes misses the pad. So we got new ones. Mm -hmm. Mikey got us a permission this morning. I had these uh, other ones. They were so stinky it ran everybody off. They are unbelievably stinky Not that he's had. Not so. but... The other ones are anyway, new permission today. We're going to hit it hard. Mikey's going to use the Z-Link. His birthday's in two days, yeah, which by the time you guys 51. see this, it's already happened. He's turning 73. Like it. Doesn't look it, but anyway, hopefully we can get on something good. We'll, we'll see. see. All right, Mikey took the other side of the uh, yard there and gave me this side. Folks over there, looks like got evicted, possibly. Anyway... My first target, and folks, you can't, you just can't start it out any better than this. My first target is a Tootsie, and this is one I do not have. So I'm pretty tickled with it. Not sure what model it is, some kind of Jeep-like thing, but wow. 1242 it rang up and then hit 1241, and uh, didn't damage it at all on digging. So I'm tickled to death with that. It's got a little hitch there. I can hook up one of the trailers I found, and we'll be in business. So excited. Very excited with that as a first find, and uh, hopefully more to come. All right, guys, there's old Mikey working hard. Um, a lot of clad I've hit. I'm doing a circle around the yard, and uh, I do a perimeter, and then that way, when I go back and forth, I don't miss any ends. Uh, busted a wheat scent, ring up 1241, 1242, and I think it's a 1951. It's not going to focus very good because it's cruddy, but first wheat scent for the day, and we're tickled with the Wheaties. Just got to find it in the silver. We'll see. All right, Mikey indiscreetly gave the thumbs up because we're not in the best part of town. And I didn't bring my pad, but... Oh, he's got a little ring-a-ding-ding ring action here. See that right there? What did it ring up, Mike? 948. So it's going to be silver. I think it is going to be silver. Oh, yeah. Pretty, huh? That is. That's a silver wedding band, I believe. Ooh. 9.38 you said? Or, yeah, 9.48. 9.48. Yeah, that's too high to be told. I'm going to try to ring it out with my finger real quick. Sorry guys, bad video I know. Hello. We're going to make ourselves a marker real quick. Metal detector. Oh, you Mm-hmm. Six. There it is, 9.25 right there. Sorry, I wasn't showing it. Yep. Hopefully you guys can see it. Yep, it's all done. But it is stamped 925. There it is. You see it right there. So good find, Mikey. Dollars for the blade. Mikey's on the board with some silver. We'll see what else we can get. Woohoo! A lot of you know what these are. We find them on occasion. I wouldn't say often, but there's an umbrella or a parasol slide for a lady's umbrella. So cool find. Hoping we don't need the umbrella today. A little bit of chance of rain. Hurricane Harvey headed up towards us. And uh, going to get us wet, but hopefully not today. We'll see. Okay, guys, we're at a new permission. Um, a guy, uh, actually a fan of Nugget Noggin. And so his kids are. And so we got him turned on to our channel. And uh, he said you can hunt the backyard as well. The front has been pounded pretty good, as we figured it had, just being in this area that we're in. Um, but I did pop a 44 wheat scent. And I'll be honest with you, I swung over it at first and didn't get the hit. 
I did dig a piece of metal of some sort off to the left of this and then went back and it was solid so it just shows if you'll dig most of the targets I'm not a big fan of doing that personally just because of my knees but uh, if you want to find stuff you dig them at all, dig it all you never can tell what's underneath and being masked by a piece of tin or aluminum or whatever else so anyway it's a good find second weedy for the day and we'll see if we can get on some more all right Mikey and I are on a new permission a few uh, episodes ago we hunted over there I busted a merc and a buffalo and uh, Mikey's on an 837 signal which sometimes can be an Indian I had an 1132 signal, which I thought was going to be a token. Kind of pleasantly surprised it wasn't. Check it out, it's a star. It says Studebaker on it. Not sure much about it. Looks like it had a, it was a pin of some sort. But uh, Studebaker star, so that is a cool find. We, uh, we had another property we hit. I didn't video anything. No, I think I, maybe I did a weedy, but that was a bust there. Everything was super deep, except what the tree roots had pushed up, so... Anyway, we're on to another one, trying to get this done before the show, and then we'll hit another after that. We don't record each other doing digs very much, but Mikey had a signal, and he said, Silver, and I usually go over to him and burst his bubble. This time I didn't burst it, so we're going to do a live dig. I think he's on one here. Cut you a big, don't be pulling up. I'm going to critique your plug. I a rock down there. You want to use mine? I get it. Are you digging up a basketball? I hope. <laughs> a silver one. Get a root right there. And <gasps> there it is right there. I see it. It's already. Don't, 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 oh, don't. Silver, it's silver, it? yeah. What is it? Well, I'm digging on silver, baby. What is it? I don't know. Look at it. Anything. Is it silver? Oh yeah, it's silver, I think. Oh, it's mercury. Good job, buddy. Yeah, we called that live digging. We did baby. live digging. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see what the front's gonna give us. What is it? It is a 43, buddy. Alright. 43 with a S mint mark. So cool, cool fine, man. Hey, nice That's silver cool. live dig. Did. You called that one. You called your shot, buddy. I did. Of course, if you say it long enough, it'll come true eventually. Eventually. Got is, a, that a, is that good luck? It is. Rub it on your head? The stick and look at it. That is your piece of work now, I'm telling you. <laughs> I love it. Look at that. Check it. Make sure there's not another one in there. Yeah. Because if there is, I get it. Okay. Nope. Good nope. find. Good job, Mikey. See, my turn now. All right, guys, we switched over, doing a little bit of cleanup. There's not a whole lot of targets, but I did just go on an 1136 and uh, bust an 1899 Indian head penny, or wreath heads, as we like to call them. Wreath heads. We, we kid Mikey because he calls wheats wheat heads, so we're calling these wreath heads. So, wreath heads. 1899 wreath head, patented, right here, on Plugmasters. We'll keep going. All right, guys, I have the Jeep Tootsie Toy theme going early this morning, and now a little afternoon, popped another Jeep. This one, not a Tootsie Toy, but a little bitty micro machine, I guess. So, anyway, it's cool. Didn't ring up very good, but I dug it anyway. That's the beauty of doing cleanup on each other. You dig this stuff the other guy didn't. So, see what else we can get. Well, old Mike and I are on a road trip. If you look in the background there, you can see birthplace of Harry S. Truman. Right across the street. We're actually on our way to another town, but we thought we'd stop here. So, anyway, uh, my first <laughs> my first target is the Emma Thurman. It's funny. Emily. I pull out this this uh, thimble here, and Mike comes over and I said, "Well, it's got some writing on it. It says Emma C. Truman on it." And oh man. Oh boy. You was excited for me, oh, weren't I you? I was, man. Hey, that's a relic from the past. Yeah, I have no idea what sold, Harry S. Truman's have, mama's name have, was. but She may have sewed Harry's, Harry's pockets. Anyway, tickled with it. No writing on it. Just an old thimble. But it's a good relic, and we'll keep it. Well, Mike and I have hit a new permission, and uh, 
It's got a huge yard, so we'll be here a while. We don't think it's been hunted. There's not a lot of targets. I had a 1242, 1243 signal, and then uh, open the hole, it's 1244, and I think I got another Captain Midnight token. I'm not 100% sure, but I thought that's what it was. It just fell out. You see the imprint right there. And I am not sure. Is that the Skelly? Yeah, that's Skelly right there. So this is going to be another Captain Midnight token, which is cool. I'll have to decipher the code, go back to YouTube, and listen to the Captain Midnight radio shows. But uh, that is a cool find. That's my third one ever. Maybe fourth. can't remember. But I uh, always love finding the old tokens. And uh, Captain Midnight, there'll be three people on this thing on one side. And uh, But you can go online, go onto YouTube, and look up some Captain Midnight radio shows. It's a pretty cool deal. So Anyway, Mikey, you're a member of the Captain Midnight Club? Yeah. All right, good yeah, job, he's buddy. He's awesome. I... You look like Captain Midnight. I think Captain Midnight, midnight looks better in the dark. I've been up past midnight more than once. <laughs> All right, well, let's keep going. <laughs> I'm not going to tell Mike because he thinks he's sitting pretty with his 1926 wheat scent. He thinks he's the weedy king. The wheat head king, of course. But he's thinking, and I'm not going to show him this coin. But anyway, he is now not in the lead for oldest coin. Because I busted. Let me get it in the shape. There's not much detail on it, but you can see the 21. So, tickles with that wheat scent, and let's see if we can get some more. Love to find stuff with my name on it. Check it out, another key, old Ford key. It is uh, fancy. We'll check that out. Not sure what model that's to, but we'll go to the key collection. We'll keep going. We've been at it a while. Nothing to film, really. But Mikey gave the thumbs up. Let's go check him out. I think he was going back and rechecking his work. He gave a little thumbs up. Now, if y'all don't know, Mikey's never found a seated dime. No, it ain't nothing like that. And he's wanting it. I am a is silver. It is silver, and it is Mr. Roosevelt. Oh. And it is. Huh. You get a year yet? Uh-uh. I ain't looked at it. They just flipped it out right there. It is a... You know I can't see in the when it's so bright. You guys see it? 47 maybe? Let me turn around to the shade. And uh, I still can't tell, but you guys know. I think it is a 47. Oh, so good find. First silver for the day. It's yeah, been a it's slow one. Yeah, it has. We'll see if we can get some more. Well, it's my turn now. I'm going to sneak up on Mike and give him the thumbs up. Dun, dun, dun. I don't know what it is, guys. He just said he changed his criteria after digging that one. Said he wasn't going to dig anything five inches. I pinpointed this one from the top of the ground. I don't know what it is. It's kind of weird looking at a. It's about dime size, but it doesn't seem to have ridges or a reeded edge. So I'm not sure exactly what it is. I guess it could be a little ring, but I'm not sure. I just saw it right. Oh, maybe it does have a reeded edge. I don't know. Could be a penny, too. Uh, I don't know. Could be a... And the ground's frozen. Really? Oh, yeah, you're in the It is a ring. Oh, it's a ring. It's a silver ring. There you go. Well, cool. I, I was saying when I saw this, the edge that it didn't look like it was a, a reeded edge. A little band? Yeah, just a little silver band. So, that's a cool find. It's got a little design on it. So... We're happy with that. It's a little bit of silver. Let's see if we can get some more. This is one of those ones where you wonder if you should have called Mike over. The signal was pretty good. It was deeper than it said it was. I popped it out. And I can't tell what it is. I think it's silver. Sitting right there. It looks like it's been hit. I saw this right there, that edge. It's been hit by something. I think it's silver. Mike, is it silver? Mm, I don't know, dude. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. It's silver. It's a barber silver, isn't it? 
Uh, no, it's that rosy silver. Boy, we're wishful thinking, aren't we? Well, always got to think for the sky. 64, boy, I just squeaked it in with that one. Well, that yeah. rascal's had a little pinch job put on it. Yeah. And that's a little bit deeper than I like to dig rosies, but well, it, it is what it is. Let's see if we can get some more.